About every six months we do a huge video about big sales going on with Amazon Prime Day. Well, this year, Crutchfield's like, hold my coffee. Sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about some awesome sales going on right now at Crutchfield. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I do this for a living, so it would mean the world to me if you subscribed and liked this video. We're gonna talk about 10, 12 different products that are on sale right now. Some of these are going off sale two days, so if you're interested, you should probably make a decision about it. Cool thing about Crutchfield is I think they have 30 day price match guarantee, which means if these go even further on sale, you can call them up and they'll match the price. Amazon doesn't do that. And they also have 60 day return policy, which Amazon also doesn't have. I've been dealing with Crutchfield, been ordering from Crutchfield since I was a teenager. Many of my car stereos, many of my home theater and hi-fi products were purchased right from Crutchfield. So let's get started. We have a bunch to go over. The first product I'm going to talk about is Yamaha R-S202. I've never actually had this in-house, but I'm thinking about buying it. Why? Because it's one of a few two-channel receivers. Actually, it's probably a two-channel integrated amplifier. It's $199, though. It's from Yamaha. It puts out 100 watts times 2 into 8 ohms at 0.2% THD, which is a good number. However, this is not rated for four ohm speakers. So if you have eight ohm speakers, you might wanna consider this. I get a lot of people telling me that I talk way too much about those small little mini amps from China. They call it Chi-Fi. People say, you talk too much about Chi-Fi. None of these products today are going to be Chi-Fi products, although they could be made in China. Yamaha, well-respected, been around for a long time. It says tone controls, a little bit stripped down, if you can spend a little bit more money, I would look at the AS301. More expensive, but you have variable loudness control, DAC. This is straight up just an integrated amplifier. There's no DAC, there's no phono stage, there's no nothing. So if you need some of that, I would look at the AS301. That comes in around $350. So you're spending $150 more, has less power, but way more functionality. I've got one on the shelf right behind me. Next up, we have a Marantz NR1510. This is a slim line. I had the 1711. Love that. Loved it every once in a while. I'd have some HDMI issues. However, if you are not heavy into home theater, this is a great option because it's only five channels. And the thing about these slim line Marantz receivers is they sound awesome for music. Most of the time, home theater receivers don't sound great for music. Most of the time. I'm not saying if you like music through home theater receivers, you're wrong. I'm saying in my experience, most of the home theater receivers I've had sounded a little bit bad for music. Maybe not bad. Just not as good as most two channel setups. On sale for $5.99. So you're getting all the bass management, you're getting HDMI, you're getting HEOS, you're getting all sorts of functionality. We'll drive four ohm loads. We'll drive eight ohm loads rated at 50 watts, but those are legitimate 50 watts. I love my NR1711, $600. Room correction, everything you could possibly need. So if you're looking for something and you want a great home theater, maybe that's not your main goal, but you also want something that sounds great and is small, this NR1510 probably can't be beat at $600. You need some bass in your life? Of course you do. You need the Cliffs Reference R120SW. I've got one of these upstairs in my listening room slash kids playroom slash theater room. Anyway, it's $299, which is on sale down from $599. So 50% off this big a bad boy. Doesn't have a ton of functionality. Zero or 180 phase control. But I will tell you, this thing is a monster. And at $300 for a 12 inch subwoofer, if you don't want like perfect, super fast bass, if you just want something to go boom, this Clips Reference R120SW, it's probably not gonna disappoint you. It weighs 31 pounds, 14 by 16 by 20. <laughs> 
20 deep. It's only got a 200 watt amplifier though. Goes down to 29 hertz. 300 bucks, you're gonna get a lot of boom for your buck on this Klipsch. A little bit tight on budget, I get it. Check out the Yamo C910. It's $180. It's on sale from $300. 10 inch front firing goes down to 32 hertz. Only has a 50 watt RMS amplifier in it though. So, probably smaller room, probably desktop setup. Maybe something in the kids room, maybe something in a den. They also have some of the slimline ones. So these aren't super powerful, but I've heard they're very good at their price. If I'm missing something, if you see something on Crutchfield that's on sale, please put it in the comments. Don't share a link though, because any comment with a link automatically gets scrubbed. So if there's something you think is an awesome deal, just pop it in the comments, even if it's not on Crutchfield. Okay, when I saw this one, I got super excited. This is the PSB Imagine XB. I did a review on these. This was almost a contender for speaker of the year last year. I love these things. They are tiny and they are mighty and they are not fatiguing at all. This is a turn me up speaker. This is a, I can't believe it's that loud out of that tiny speaker, speaker. This is an all day listening speaker and they are on sale for $400 and they were 650. And when I made the video, I had a comment in that video. I said, I wish these things were more affordable because I didn't feel like they're a $650 speaker. They are, however, a $400 speaker all day long. Five and a quarter inch woofer, one inch titanium dome tweeter. Go down to 55 hertz, but man, they feel like they go way, way lower. Love this speaker, love it. At $400, I really, really love it. I think this whole line is on sale. So if you're interested in this speaker, I would go ahead and take a look at them. And some of this stuff goes off sale today. I can't remember which one. So if you're interested, all the links are gonna be in the description. Of course, those are affiliate links, which means if you click and you buy, I do get a commission. $400 though, really happy to see that. It's a great speaker. One of my favorite speakers, another more relaxed speaker, not gonna be killing you with detail and intensity. Elac debut reference. I have this same exact pair right over there and I love them. Six and a half inch woofer, Andrew Jones design, front port, beautiful to look at. This is the debut reference or the DBR 62. Go down to 44 Hertz all the way up to 35,000 Hertz, 86 DB though. You're gonna wanna have some power on this thing. Six ohms, lovely speaker. This debuted, no pun intended, at $600 when it first came out. Of course, there's been price increases. So $700 is the new retail price. However, it's down to 525. And this speaker did not go on sale for a long time time so this one's been out for a while but there's a reason they still make it because it's really good 525 dollars this speaker is a steal if you're looking for extreme levels of clarity probably not the speaker for you if you're looking for something that's very romantic very engaging another speaker that you can listen to all day the debut reference should be on your short list Want a floor standing speaker at a crazy screaming price? Check out the ELAC debut 2.0. So this is the debut series, the second generation, the floor standing version, $319 each, marked down from $530 each. And this one, this sale ends the 28th. So you're looking at $640 for a pair of these. I think Ed, one of my patrons, has a pair of these and he just absolutely loves them. So they have dual six and a half inch woofers for the base. One six and a half inch driver for the mid range. Go down to 39 hertz all the way up to 35,000 hertz. 87 dB efficient, three way design. I love the way the second generation Andrew Jones speaker looks. 640 for a pair of these, not too shabby. An oldie, but a goodie, we're going back. We're going back before the RP600M Mark II, before the RP600M, we're going all the way back to the granddaddy. I don't know why I did that. RP160M, $300. So this is basically the RP600M's daddy. And at $300 a pair, if you're after that Klipsch sound, you can't go wrong with this speaker, $300. Bear in mind that the RP600M Mark II, I think retails for $750. Now 
Now, it goes on sale, but it doesn't go on sale below like $500. You can look at the Clips RP600M, the first generation, they're around $400. But if you're on a budget, you want that Clips, you can't afford the RP600M, then the RP160M is not that big of a concession. We have a bunch of Wharfdale. Ooh, I love Wharfdale. Ooh, they're yummy. They're built beautifully. They sound awesome. And occasionally they go on sale. This is a grand, $1,000. When I did the Wharfdale Evo 4.2's review and I included it in a speaker shootout, they actually retailed for $1,000. So this is what they retailed for because they went up in price to $1,200. So they're back down to $999. This is a sports car. This is a fantastic speaker. You got to get the placement right though. Big two inch mid range dome driver. Brilliant speaker. Brilliant, brilliant speaker. Got to get height and the toe in just right on these. But once you do, they sound amazing. Go down to 48 hertz, six and a half inch woven Kevlar. Woof a two inch soft dome mid range and an AMT on top. 88 dB sensitive. Great speaker. They're big too. So this is not a Typical bookshelf speaker. Love this speaker. Diamond 12.2s on sale for $500 a pair, marked down from $600. And that one ends today. So if you're interested in the Diamond 12.2, the Diamond, you give us the Diamond. You know what movie that's from? Anyway, that one ends today. I had these in very neutral speakers. So this is not a warm speaker. This is not a exciting speaker. This is a neutral speaker. It's going to play everything great. Doesn't have any fatigue either. So you can turn these up. For me, I added in a little bit of tone controls on the bottom end. 88 dB sensitive, 8 ohms. Go down to 50 hertz. Tough decision between these and the debut reference from ELAC. I don't think you can really go wrong with either. Personally, I'd probably get the reference, debut reference from ELAC, but it would be a really tough decision if the Wharfdale Denton 80th edition were on sale. And finally, we're gonna wrap it up with a really capable preamp. The Parasound New Classic 200 Pre. This thing has got it all. It's got bass management. It's got a DAC. It's got a phono stage. I reviewed the amplifier version of this thing, and it, it's really big and flat. It looks like a hi-fi stingray or something like that that's swimming in the ocean of happiness. If you're looking for a really solid preamp, this one has you covered. Actually, if I was getting this product, I would get this one and not the one with the power amp section. The one with the power amp section is Class D. Not saying Class D is bad. I love Class D, certain Class D amplifiers. But what I really love is the functionality of this. So I'd hook it up to maybe some Emotiva A1s or something like that, mono blocks. So this is marked down from $1,100 and this is a full reel big boy preamp. $800 I think is a screaming deal. They have a scratch and dent for $705, which I would jump on if you're interested in this product. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Wanted to go through some sales that Crutchfield had going on and let you know that Amazon is not the only place that you can go get awesome deals. You can get great deals from Crutchfield too right now. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio. And every Sunday night, we have patron only Zooms, patron only Discord, patron only Facebook group. You can use the affiliate links. You can sign up for Amazon Rune or Tidal. Links in the description. You can give me a tip in the tip jar. It's called the thanks button down below. But please subscribe and like this video if you want to see more content like this. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen maybe through one of your awesome products you just got at Crutchfield on sale, deeply discounted, and fill yourself with happiness. With that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.